Justice League number 40 by Christopher Priest and Pete Woods. Cyborg rushes down from the Watchtower to assist the Justice Leagues, revealing more freaky alterations to care of the fan. When he gets there, the poorer people of Estes Park are pissed that the rich were tended to first. Once the first responders arrive, he tries to organize them when Superman explains that they need to go. A debate rages among both teams about public perception versus what they're supposed to be actually doing. Meanwhile aboard the Watchtower, the fan, disguised as Regina Cole, gets decked by Aquaman. She works to disable everything, including anti-gravity, and she teleports away and he runs right into Lobo. Both factions of the League have teleported back to HQ and find quite a mess on their hands waiting for them. It's determined that the space station is falling back to Earth, forcing them all to work together, at least the ones that have it bailed out. Adam uses his brain while Black Canary discusses who's in charge. Back at Congress, the representative who pushed the League's legal issues deals with lawsuits. While back in orbit, the debate versus who lives and who dies continues to rage. As they discuss, things get weird until Superman breaks it down. Finally, Batman looks to Cyborg and it's official. It's either all or none of them. As time ticks, they all work together freezing and thawing the space station while dealing with the fan's booby traps. Superman holds it up while Black Canary does her scream for some reason. Things continue to go awry while Priest goes on a dialogue tear and the Watchtower drifts into an orange hole. Or something. What happens next? We'll have to wait to find out as this issue is left to be continued. Okay, so this issue made my brain hurt. Like I've said before, team-up books are always expected to be heavy on words, but this one finally crossed the line into ridiculous. In the end, it trails into science babble that was over the top for a comic book. Look, if Christopher Priest's goal is to let every member of the squad talk, then I guess it's mission accomplished. But I'm left scratching my head. I give this one a 6 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spending several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the nerdiest kid you know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.